What is up everybody and thanks for joining us back here at Crypt Chronicles. My name is Mark and I'll be your host on this video today. Guys, I've been getting a few calls per day from random numbers claiming to be the IRS. I don't answer them, so they go to voicemail. When I get the voicemail, they sound like this. Any response from your end? So, it has been considered as an intentional fraud and lawsuit has been filed under your name by the United States government. You may call our department number. 515-897-2155. I repeat, 515-897-2155. Thank you. And they claim to be the IRS, and they claim that I have committed some type of fraud. And they want me to immediately call them back and deal with this, or else I will be in trouble with the law. So we're going to call them right now. We're going to see what they really have to say, and we're going to see if we can uncover this scam. But before we do, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, smash that like button, share this video, and put a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this content and any other suggestions you may have for future shows. Let's go and call them. See what happens. Thank you for calling Internal Revenue Service. Okay, is, uh, am I talking to Thomas Helly? Yes, this is Thomas Helly. Okay. And I believe right now you are at the age of 31 years, right? Yes, but I don't feel comfortable telling you over the phone, but yes. Okay, ma'am, we call it to a certain attorney for my information that there is a legal allegation and lawsuit has been filed against you by the Internal Revenue Service. What? So are you aware about the situation? What? What, what, what do you mean? Uh, what do you mean uh, uh, it's been filed against me? I'm not sure. Okay, so if in that case, ma'am, can you please grab a pen and a piece of paper? Oh. I want you to write it down some more information about this case. I'm a little nervous. Uh, uh, hold on, let me find my bifocals and let me get a pen. All right, take your suit time. Okay, all right, I got him. I got him. Okay, what do, what do I need to know? All right, first of all, you please write it down my name. My name is Officer Steven, S T E. V E N seven Mark o A R K Mark. Officer, uh, you're an officer of the law. Officer Steven Mark. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, all right, from the Tax and Crime Investigation Units of IRS with a batch ID number I R C seven four one two. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, okay. I R C seven one four two. Yes, and now you can write it down, your case file number. Okay, wh what's my case file number? Okay, it's C as in Charlie, P as in Paul, 5462. C, P5462, okay. Exactly, now, ma'am, I would like to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is being recorded and monitored by the IRS, the local authorities of your state, and by one federal officer. So whatever you speak, our, our comment must be true and honest, because this telephonic call will be serving in front of the courthouse to prove you innocent. And I don't want you to interrupt me or stop me in between while I'm explaining you, okay? Oh, this is making me nervous. All right, now, as part of the document, we conducted an audit on your tax file for the year 2012 to 2016. We found out that there was a numerical miscalculation error on the tax return. And the returns that you filed do not match the tax records that we have with us. So according to section 7201, that amount is still outstanding on the name, which you have not paid. For the reason, the local authorities with arrest warrant will come to your place. Your driving license will be canceled. Everything under your name, your property, your bank account will be seized, and you will be taken to the custody as an arrest warrant has been issued under your name. Now, the total outstanding amount on the name that is um, $8,120, which includes your pending tax, charges, and fees. Yes, it's $8,120. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me write that. Tax. I need to write that down. Hang on. Hang on. What? All right. 8120 Yes. Is there any sense? Is there any sense? Is there any sense on the end of that? No, ma'am. It's eight thousand 
$120. Even? Which includes, you. yes, your, your pending tax, legal charges, and less fees. Now, this is for 2012 by 2012 taxes? Yes, from the year 2012 to 2016. Oh, thank God. What a relief. I thought it was about my Bitcoin this year. I, I was nervous the IRS was coming to take my Bitcoin. Sorry? I was nervous that the IRS was coming to take my Bitcoin for this year. Okay, as long as it's 2012, I'm okay with. But as long as they're not going to take my Bitcoin. I got a couple bags and I don't want them to take it. Okay, ma'am, make sure that we're not talking about any particular year, okay? Okay. We're talking about the duration of those five years. Okay, so as long as so, you're not talking about my Bitcoin, 2012 is fine. Whatever you need. What do I need to do to take care of this? All right. So now at this point of time, what I can do is I can help you with two options. So the first option is you can think that there is nothing wrong with your tax. Then you can hire a criminal attorney for yourself and represent yourself in front of the court of courthouse of Washington, D.C., and find a case with the IRS. The second option is called OOCR, which stands for Out of Court Restitution. Under this code, if you have any good intention to get things fixed up outside of the courthouse, then you can take care of the situation by making this payment back to the government today itself on an immediate basis. Oh, yes, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I don't want to go to a courthouse. I get nervous. Get nervous in the courthouse. I'll, okay. I'll take the second choice, please. Right. Okay, ma'am, uh, if in that case, I would like to transfer this call to, to my senior supervisor who is taking in charge of, of your case file. So okay. I'll be on the line okay. while I'm transferring the call, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Hello. Hi, hi. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for being home. Your line has been connected to me. This is Senior Officer Richard Johnson from Tax Investigation Department. Oh. Man of whom I'm speaking with. Oh, well, my nickname's Bob. Uh, yes, please go ahead. I'm a little nervous. What do I need to do to take care of this today? I don't have a lot of time. Uh, ma'am, can you help me out with the last four official sources number just for the verification? I, I don't feel comfortable giving my information over the phone, but I am willing to make a payment today so I don't have to go to court. Is there anything I can do to okay, speed this up? Much, okay, I can do that. Okay, can you tell me how much you can come up with? Well, what do you need? You need $8,000? Exactly. Well, I mean, I, do you take Bitcoin? I only have that in Bitcoin. I don't have that in cash right now. Um, sure, ma'am. We do not take bitcoins, ma'am. Well, do you take any type of cryptocurrency? All I got is bags of crypto. Intangible coins you can't touch or feel, but, but they're worth lots and lots of money. Uh, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm um, very sorry, ma'am. Okay. Uh, is there any way for you to download a Coinbase wallet and I'll send you, I'll send you my bitcoin? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm very sorry. We are not allowed to do that. Yes, sir. So, may I know where are you right now? Well, uh, I'm in my, I'm in the bathroom, on the toilet. As soon as I finish up, I'm gonna go grab my credit card. Okay. Once you're done, let me know. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just about done. I'm getting up right now. Hang on. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me grab my purse. All right. Got my purse. What, what do you need to know? Okay. I need you to move to Ochoa. Once you reach Ochoa, let me know. I'll be guiding you the address where you need to go. Okay, okay, okay. I got a Sam's card and an Amazon card. Do you take either one of those? Which card is that? Uh, Sam card, you say? Yeah, Sam card, Amazon. I also have a bunch of um, Apple cards from the Apple store. Do you take those? Uh, okay. Yeah, we do. What's the dollar amount in that card? Yeah, three thousand dollars because I was gonna get a laptop, but uh, I wasn't able to get to the store. I was gonna go tomorrow, so I have about three thousand dollars in Apple Store gift card. Would you take that instead of uh, my credit card? Yes. Do you know uh, how many cards do you have with you? Well, I, um, you, there's a limit on how much you can put on each card. I think it's like five hundred bucks. So I probably have six or seven of them. Yeah, I'd really like to pay with Bitcoin. Are you sure? Can you go ask a supervisor if I could pay with Bitcoin? Because that's really a, that's where all my money is. No, sir, I cannot accept that. Either you can make a payment. Uh, help me out with that iTunes gift card, sir. Can you take one card? Okay, first? okay, okay. 
Okay, uh, it's uh, XXBB23. Hold on, sir. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. okay. Just, give, just give me a moment, all okay, right? Okay, okay. Yes, uh, are you sure you can't take Bitcoin? Please go ask your boss. Sure, first provide me that, sir. Oh. It's access and x-ray. Yes, yes, but I'd rather give you Bitcoin because I really need a laptop. I'm very sorry, ma'am. We cannot accept Bitcoin. You need to help me out with the iTunes card. Oh, uh, well, uh, I have all my Bitcoin ready. Are you sure? Can you talk to your boss or your yes, manager? Ma no, ma'am. We cannot accept that. Oh, can you just make one exception? I have uh, I have Litecoin, too. I have Monero, and I have Ethereum. You know Ethereum is, is, is the blockchain? The blockchain is really big. No, ma'am. Help me out with that card number, ma'am. Okay, you know... We can only accept that. Oh, okay. Have you heard the latest news about Bitcoin, though? We do heard about that Bitcoins, ma'am, but we do not have that process, ma'am. But they're uh, they're they're a little down right now. It's been red the market, but it's getting green today, and hopefully over the next couple of weeks, it's going to go really really high. Is there any way you can take some of my Bitcoin? Uh, I'm very sorry, ma'am. We cannot take a Bitcoin. Because if you could take some of my Bitcoin, I'd be willing to pay a little more, maybe like ten thousand dollars. Sure, it's, ma'am. Provide me the iTunes card number first, oh. and after that, I'll be I'll be helping you out if they can accept your bitcoins or not. Yes, it's really simple. All you got to do is download a Bitcoin wallet, and then give me your wallet address, and then I'll send them right to you. It takes about ten minutes. So where are you located? Where are you? Where do you live? Oh, ma'am, at this point of time, we are from the tax investigation department. Where do you this live? Where are you been. from? I'm from Washington, D.C., ma'am. Right uh, well, I heard they're really accepting of the Washington, D.C. loves the Bitcoin. They even had a SEC meeting, and, and uh, all, the, all the politicians really like the Bitcoin. And I heard the IRS is starting to be more accepting of the Bitcoins, too. Hello? No, I'm Hello? Sorry. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm here. Yes, I'd, like to, I'd really like to give you my Bitcoins. This is my last and final offer. If you can accept my Bitcoin, I'll give you $20,000, and I have it. I just deposited yesterday. Just hold on, all right? Let me uh, let the, have a word with my senior officer, all right? Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Hello, you're Kelly? Yes, hello. Hello, yes. Yes, we're really accepting a Bitcoin. How many Bitcoins do you have? Yes, well, currently, um, I have about uh, I have about twenty bitcoins stashed away, and uh, we were talking about my my fine eight thousand dollars, and I was willing to pay twelve thousand, but he wouldn't take it. So then I offered twenty thousand, and if you're able to take twenty thousand in bitcoin, I'd be willing to take care of this right now. Okay, I wanted to accept your bitcoin payment. Okay. Okay, you have a Bitcoin wallet. Which wallet do you have? The Coinbase or the Jax or the Celsius? Which one do you have? The Celsius. Ah, Celsius is a good one. They've developed that app real well. I like it. How do you like it? What? The app. The wallet, Celsius. Yes. It's a good wallet. Yes. Okay, I, I need to take your, uh, what's your Bitcoin, your Bitcoin wallet address, and I'll send those Bitcoin over to you right away. Diaz and Tango. Now that's in Lima. Okay. Okay, numerical number 0786. Okay. At the rate. What? At. At? Yes. Eight, the number eight? No, at the rate. At, like the at sign? Yes. Okay, at? Mail.com. What, will you give me an email address? You are, you are fucking idiot. Don't fool with me. Okay? What? <laughs> oh man, guys, scammers at their finest. I know that was a little long, but can you believe them? They didn't want to take my Bitcoin at first. Then they, then I upped the ante to $20,000, transferred me over to somebody else that apparently had a Bitcoin wallet. And I asked for his Bitcoin wallet and he gave me his freaking email address. <laughs> These scammers, man. Oh, Lordy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you go ahead and share this. Share this to your social media so some people get a laugh, but also to spread the awareness that there are people trying to scam people left and right. The IRS will never call you over the phone and never ask you for money. If anything, you'll get letters in the mail and you'll get a lot of them before they take the next step to come to your house or to make a phone call. I'm signing out, guys. My name's Mark. This is Crypto Chronicles. Stay awesome, and we'll see you all in the next video.